this is Lee with Life with the Gemini Goddess. Thank you so much for stopping by today. So today I am going to talk about um, interracial dating at 50. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to title this just yet, but basically that's what it's going to be about. So I'm very close to 50. I'm 40. And um, I actually started dating online uh, about four years ago. And um, I always knew that I wanted to, you know, start dating um, different nationalities. I've always, first, let me back up. I want to say first that I have always been attracted to men outside my race. I've always been attracted to, we'll say, white guys. Ever since I was like 12, 13, you know, I always had crushes on, you know, you know, white boys. I thought they were cute. I wasn't even brought up in a neighborhood that was diverse like that. Um, so I didn't really see a lot per se of, you know, white guys, except the ones that were, you know, in the congregation. I grew up a Jehovah's Witness, I'm no longer Jehovah's Witness, but that's for another discussion, um, another video. <laughs> but um, I've always been attracted to white boys. So this is not something that I'm doing because it was a phase or um, because it's trendy or anything thing like that. Now, um, I'll just give a little bit of history without really making this video super long that my longer term relationships that I had over the years, I've only had like a couple of long term relationships. My previous relationship before being married now, um, I was in that relationship for, I don't know, almost 11 years or something like that. Uh, he was interracial. He was, his mom was white. His, his father is black um, or was black. And um, before that, my children's fathers are, are black. So my, my children, you know, they have two different fathers, but both of their fathers are black. My children are grown, but you know, I did date, you know, black guys. And I know some people be like, well, if you always like, you know, uh, white guys, how come, you know, you had children by, you know, black men or was in, you know, relationships with black men. Just going back quickly, I, um, being a Jehovah's Witness and being very, uh, sheltered, uh, I didn't date. So, I mean, I didn't even, I didn't start having sex until I was like 20, almost 21 years old. So that's how long it was, you know, before I even dated anybody. I think I had my first kiss when I was like 19 years old, a uh, real kiss when I was 19 years old. But, um, you know, I wanted to date a bad boy, you know, cause you know, when you're in a restricted type of environment, you want to do everything that you're not supposed to be doing. And you know, Hey, it is what it is. But fast forward, but I want to say that I've never not been attracted to white guys. But during this time, that's what was available to me in the area that I lived in at that time. Um, that's just what was available to me. No white guys was coming up to me or anything like that. Just like I've always dated light-skinned black guys. Um, back in the 90s when I was dating um, dark-skinned sisters, we just wasn't in. Okay? So, like we in now. You know, now was trendy to talk about your melanin your melon pop popping and stuff and it's like oh we we in now dark skin sisters we in now oh, okay i didn't know that but anyway um yay so you know because back in the day you know it's always light skin sisters you know becky with the good hair she's the one that's gonna get all the play when we at the club or we you know you out with your girls they're gonna look at the light skin girls so to say that to say this i was never really attracted to dark skin guys because they didn't seem like they were coming to me I've had, you know, dark skin male friends, um, you know, in the past, but I've always been attracted to like light skin guys. I know some people, they're going to look at that however they want to look at that. Maybe because I always really want to date, you know, white guys, but I just never had the opportunity presented to me. Um, you know, fast forward a little bit. Um, like I said, I was in my last relationship for almost 11 years, uh, something like that. And uh, before that, before in between me being with my son's father and in between that last relationship, I had 
let's just say friends with benefits, you know what I'm saying? And white guys or whatever. We didn't date per se, but, um, we, you know, I was intimate with them. So, you know, I was having sex, you know, with white guys and I'm not going to compare and go down that road. You know, you can have different sex partners and, you know, either they'd be good or bad. I mean, you know, everybody wants to talk about, oh, a little, you know, white guys got, you know, smaller penises black guys got big old mandingo dicks penises excuse me um well we all grown here um but i'm not going to get into that because that's really false because i've seen anyway that's false let's just leave it at that um i've never had a problem being satisfied or happy with being with a white man I, i've always been satisfied never had a problem with that okay um so I started dating online um, on plenty of, on plenty of fish about four. Well, let's see, we've been together for three years, so about four years, a little bit over four years. Prior to that, I was on another dating site. Um, I can't even remember the name of it. It was like it was an interracial dating site, and um, you know, it's not like you just had to be a black woman and just white guys or Chinese guys or. Hispanic guys looking for you. It's, it's everyone who w was dating outside of their race. I really didn't like that side because it was too niche for me. So, I mean, when I say that, it was like a lot of black women were on there. I mean, you have like 10,000 black women and maybe, you know, a few thousand, you know, men on that site and all these women is, is really competitive. Um, so I started... I actually made my profile on Plenty of Fish. Now, at this time, I was 40 something in my 40s. So, from 48, 43, 4, whatever. Um, I started dating online on Plenty of Fish. Now, some people would say that, oh, Plenty of Fish is stupid. I mean, I r ran into, you know, a few people hitting up my inbox or whatever, you know, and at some point I was like, oh, this is more like Plenty of uh, 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 Sea of Fools than Plenty of Fish because it was like just some guys but you just weed through that um i never had a bad date i think i mentioned that my my first video i never had a bad date on plenty of fish you know i vetted them i mean it was a whole process i'll go into that in another video um my process of how i dated successfully on plenty of fish and why i never had a bad date even though me and the guy may not when i go on a date um we may not uh, have a connection, but we still kind of like stayed friends. I mean, I had a couple of guys that would come out, you know, from the Bay Area to, you know, visit me, take me out to lunch or kick it with me or whatever. I live in Sacramento and the Bay Area, San Francisco, um, Oakland, Union City, um, you know, so a lot of the guys, you know, I dated from, you know, the greater areas around here or whatever. Um, so I, I, you know, or guys that I met locally, I never had a bad date. It's just sometimes there just wasn't a connection. And that's at the time when I wasn't dating to be in a relationship. I was just dating because I've been in a relationship for a long time and I'm 40 some years old. I'm like, damn, I wasted most of my 30s and 40s um, in an unsuccessful relationship. And so I'm like, I'm ready to get out there and date them all. So I got on this site. I dated... I've been on dates with, um, you know, Indian guys with, um, you know, from India. Um, why did I say that? Um, <laughs> Indian guys I've dated, um, uh, Italians. Um, I dated, um, an Asian guy. Um, I went on dates with, um, Polish. Um, there's a couple of others in there, um, so that's what I did. And even when I made my profile on Plenty of Fish, I made sure that I put in my profile what I was looking for. So I won't go into too much detail about everything because that's not really what this specific um, video is about. But I made sure that I put in there that I preferred. I first used the word preferred to date outside my race. And that was to make sure that guys who were black i'm just gonna say black men wasn't hitting me up and it's because that's not what i when i wanted to date i wanted to specifically date outside my race i knew that eventually when i did get married i wanted to date outside my race i wanted to get married outside my race and i'll get into that in a minute as to why 
and it's not what you think it's not because it's trendy or anything like that um but there's there's some reasons known and unknown you know like i said i've always been attracted to white men but you know so um but i would specifically put that in there i got the most backlash putting that information in there from black men First of all, anytime I did a profile, I don't care what it's about or when I when I put information in my profile, that's gonna tell me right away if you really just hit me up because yeah, my profile pic was cute. You know what I'm saying? Or if it was because of that or you just hit me up, you didn't even read my profile. You don't even know if I would be interested in dating you. You know what I'm saying? Or you're the type of guy that I would even want to, you know, talk to. So, um, I put that on there so that way you don't waste your time hit me up in my inbox so you know I put that in there and oh another side note too and if you are on a site that's not niche specific to interracial dating it may be it it worked for me to put that in there so that way you don't have a lot of brothers out there wasting their time they see a good looking queen on there and they're like oh let me hit her up and that's what happened to me a lot then they get mad when they finally go and look at my profile um, and they're like, oh, she don't date, you know, and I got the most backlash from them. I, this is around when Trump was first in office, right? Or yeah, cause it's about four years ago. And the reason why I say that is because men will be like, oh, uh, you know, got brothers will, be, will come in on my, my, uh, messages like, oh, well you don't date black men. Well, oh, you only date white guys. Well, he's probably a Trump supporter and this and this and that. First of all, I'm sitting here like, why do you care? Cause there's none of your business who or, or what I want to date you didn't have to hit me up you clearly saw what it said on my profile what I wanted to date you know and that I prefer not to date that I had to change the word to prefer to I don't date outside my race I mean I'm sorry that I date outside my race so and I don't you know that I had to put that in there and I just ignored those because I was getting hit up and then, you know, it was like the brothers was giving me the most problem oh well you're a queen and you're gonna date one of those and I'm sitting here like why do you care because I bet you if uh um uh Becky or uh or, or or somebody over there was hitting you up with her her blue eyes and blonde hair, I'm sure that you probably would be looking at her or going a couple of dates. All this oh well, our queens and our queens this. Well maybe you should have got your shit together. You know, in in maybe, you know, more sisters been dating you or something. I really don't know. But I caught the most backlash from from that and then also to another reason why I put on there specifically that I wanted to date outside my race is so that way that other men who you know we live in a world where sometimes they may not you know maybe a white guy Chinese guy uh, Mexican guy I mean they may not know oh well she really you know she going to you know reply back to me because she's a sister i don't know she's gonna reply back to me so i'm putting in there oh it's okay you know so that's what i did so that way i have more control over that so um in regards to dating interracially um you know and almost you know at 50 um this video is for you know my ladies that are over you know uh 35 40 and up you know, you don't really have to get on websites that's niche specific when you're older and you want to date interracially or you're older and you want to date specific. anyway. Like they have our time and I think it's for 50 and over. I'm like, damn, I'm, I couldn't imagine that if I was single that I, and I'm going to be, I'm going to get on light, uh, uh, my time and start dating just men over. I don't know. It just seemed really just strange to me. So I, I like to have, you know, my options open. And the reason why I date interracially or I, I suggest whether you're a black man, whether you're, you know, a black woman, whether whoever, I'm only going to speak for my community, but whomever you are, why not, instead of being so closed mind, I'm like, oh, I'm only going to date a brother. I'm only going to date, I'm only going to date. I love what a black man could do for me. And he make me feel good and this and this and that. Okay, well, that's good, sis. But why not open your world to other people, to other races, to other nationalities? Why would you just keep a closed mind and like, oh, I'm just going to date black men. I'm just going to do this. Well, how is that working out for you? How was that work? How many black men did are you had you had to date before? Whether you found your husband, your boyfriend, your soulmate, or whatever, you know. So it's like, why not open up your world? 
just like when I first started dating online, I didn't just date guys specifically in my area. I was like, oh, if they're in the Bay Area, well, they're going to come see me or sometime I go see them or whatever. And um, most of the time, you know, um, I was being, they come to see me, you know, because that's far unless they pay for my gas to come out there. Um, you know, it's like, why would I, you know, just, you know, date just here. But <laughs> what's so funny about that is that after a while that got kind of tiresome because, you know, schedules with, you know, I work for myself, I work from home, but you know, everybody else, you know, of course the men that I dated, you know, they had jobs and everything. So, you know, getting together and driving down here, um, you know, became a bit of a hassle. So I was like, you know what? Cause it's kind of nice if, if I do start dating somebody that I don't have to go way out of town, drive two hours or they drive two hours up to come see me or stay with me or whatever the case is or stay at a hotel near me or whatever. You know, so what's funny is my husband, who am I met on Plenty of Fish, um, he actually lived 15 minutes from my house. So, <laughs> so anyway, my point is that you have to be open. You have to be open and, and and also too, you know, you get on these what these dating sites, especially as older women. Um, sometimes, you know, you could feel like, oh, there's so much competition. You got all these young girls out there and everything. Um, sis, if you look good, especially if you're a sis, especially if you're, I'm sorry, especially if you're a, a, a sister. Okay, you know, we don't age as fast, um, so you can work with that. And work it to your advantage plus there's a lot of things to make yourself feel good and make yourself feel younger look younger um you know that that's something that you can research but um don't let your age stop you from being happy or going out of your comfort zone and if anything being in your 40s and up there's a good advantage when you are dating out of your race one you um if you don't want to have to deal with raising children in her, you know, how can I put this? You don't have to worry about children, okay? Um, so you don't have that type of um, something to take your focus away from your relationship, especially when you're older. By the time you're over 40, you don't had a couple relationships or you've been in a long marriage or whatever the case is. And by this time, you should know what you want. And um, you just have to be sure that you're ready to date or you're ready to get married or whatever the case is. So, you know, don't let your age deter that you can still find somebody at 40 years old, that you can still find somebody at 50 years old. I said over 50 because I'm damn near 50. So this isn't click, uh, what do they call clickbait? You know, so no, I'm 48 years old. Okay, I'm a 70s baby. Um, I'm proud of it, even though I lied about my age for a long time, because I know they say age is nothing but a number, but girl, it was real hard swallowing that pill when I turned 40, you know, but you know, people can't believe I'm, I'm 48 years old. Um, see, I forget how old I am. Cause I'd be, it's a lie about it. <laughs> like I was 37 years old when I was 37, I was 37 for the longest time. But anyway, so I still get carded, you know what I'm saying? On a good day, you know, I still get carded. But you, my point is, is that you can find love um, and you can um, date interracially. And this is a good time in your 40s to do it because you know what you want. You know, um, you know what you're looking for. At least you should by now. You've already worked on yourself. And if you have insist, you need to be working on yourself before you date anybody, whether it's in your, your own race, whether that's your own gender, you're still dating or whatever the case is. You just need to be sure that you are ready for that and be ready to receive that because when it comes, it's going to come. That's why when I finally did decide to date, to take it from dating casually because, okay, now I have my fun, you know, now I'm doing my thing and everything. And, and <clears throat> now I know what it's like to to date because I never really got to do that, especially being grown and my kids are grown. I don't have to worry about babysitting. I don't have to worry about cooking dinner. I don't got to worry about picking up no kids. I don't got to worry about going to football games. I don't have to worry about going over to homework. Now it's all about me. Okay. And at this point, I think it's really great um, when you can focus on just yourself. So, um, yeah, that's why I said, you know, dating interracial when you're over 40, when you're, you know, uh, is, is really good. This is a good time to just venture out, you know, take baby steps, 
Um, and then I'll do another video about, <clears throat> you know, how to set up, you know, your profile um, for optimal um, for optimal performance. <laughs> you know, to do your your you know how to put your um, profile and in 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 everything in dealing with guys on whether well, it's plenty of fish. It works for pretty much any any site. Um, maybe not Christian Mingle. Uh, you know, I don't know how how they do theirs. You know, I'm not Christian. I'm not any religion, so I'm not speaking for Christian Mingle. Um, but for, you know, other sites, Match.com, um, and, you know, all other ones, but I can only speak for Plenty of Fish, um, and how to successfully be sure that your dates are always good, how to successfully have a good date and to do it safely. Um, you know, I'll do that in another video. Um, if you're in an interracial relationship or you met your man um, or your woman online, um, especially on Planet Your Fish or any website, please comment that below what site that it was. Um, you know, hey, I'm about to squirrel life. I'm very happy in the decision that I made. I'm very happy. Is it perfect to date outside your race? No. There's a lot of things that go with it. You got to grow together. Um... Some women or some men think that black women date outside their race because, you know, um, they feel, you know, I can't think of the word, I'm lost for a word. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry. I just can't think of the word right now. But I didn't do it because of that. The reason why, and I did say earlier, I was going to say why I date interracially is because I wanted to for a long time as far as. When I say wanted to, I mean, as an adult, I was like, in my last relationship, it was going to hell like way before the 11 years. And I was like, I'm, I'm a date outside my race. I need to, I need something different. I need to know what it's like to have someone in my life completely different than me. Completely, like everything about this person. And it does come with challenges. It does come with challenges, especially when you're dating someone that's not brought up in a um, diverse neighborhood you know, or, you know, they don't have a lot of black friends, um, or any black friends. I mean, but I don't judge that. I just look at each individual circumstance. Like I don't handle, I don't, I didn't handle no white girlfriends, you know, um, although I didn't really have a lot of female friends, but I didn't know white girlfriends, you know, so, um, and you know, so you just got to look at the circumstances and, um, I won't go too much into that in this video, but I mean, I will say that be ready for it. Um, you do have to be mentally ready for it. That's why I said, I'm not saying if you're 20, you can't date out of, you know, out of your race or whatever, but I'm just speaking specifically for us over, you know, 40, 35 and up, 40 and up or whatever, um, that we should be a little bit more strong minded at this time because there will be certain situations where you may feel uncomfortable because, you know, that's why I said it's not, you know, something to do because it's trendy because, you do have to get accustomed to certain things. You know, there may be, you know, people looking at you when you're holding hands. You may, and that could be from your own people. That could be from someone, you know, white. Um, and if he has predominantly, you know, white friends, like I said, because of where he was brought up or whatever, you know, I had to get, speaking for myself, I was a little uncomfortable because I wasn't used to being around so many white people at one time. I was like, damn, I went to my, my husband. This is when we were... I don't, we weren't even engaged at this time. We were dating and we was living together, but, um, going to a friend of his wedding. And that was the first big, uh, e uh, social, um, event, um, a few years ago that I went to with him and I met all his friends and everything and, or his friends. And, um, it, <laughs> I was a little uncomfortable because I'm not used to, it's not just being around a room full of white people. It's being in a room full of white people and you're the only black woman and you're with a white man. And I'm going to be myself no matter what. Like, I'm not going to talk like, you know, all super, oh my God, and this, this, and that, and, and, and just extra articulate and proper just because I'm with these people, I'm still going to be myself. Not like I'm loud and ghetto or ratchet or anything, but it's like, I'm still going to be myself. But 
you know, people, you are more noticeable, period. Just being a black person, you're noticeable, period. Just like when you raise your voice, everybody's going to look at you, you know, even though you're not mad. But anyway, you know, you just have to be strong-minded when it comes to that. So I've already made this video too long. I'm looking, it's already at 24 minutes and I didn't really want to do it that long, but you know, I just wanted to put it out there, um, why you should date, um, or at least try to start dating outside of your nationality or outside of your race. Basically to sum it up is you open up your world. You don't know, you can find your soulmate, your other half, your significant other, whatever you want to call it, your husband, you can find that person by not being closed mind and only thinking you should date, you know, what, what you are with someone who looks like you. You're willing to deal with the challenges that come with it. It's, it's, it's worth it because let me tell you, I've been through more challenges being in a relationship with the black men that I was with, my children's fathers. I've been in more shit Okay, that I had to go through being with them than dealing with, oh, people are going to look at us or, oh, I have to be around a bunch of white people and the only black person or only black woman there. You know, I dealt with more bullshit dealing with that. So for me, being the age I am, I'm strong minded. I've been through a whole bunch of other shit that I can get over these little things right here. Okay, so... That's just how I feel about that. So anyway, I'm going to sum this up. Uh, please share this. Um, comment down below if you would like to see, you know, more videos about um, this topic. Um, dating interracially, especially in, you know, over 40 and, and, and above. And, um, you know, challenges or if you have any questions, you know, comment that below. Please don't forget to subscribe. This is my second video on this channel. I do have another channel, but that's for something else. Um, but I tr I'm i planning on uploading videos a, a couple times a week. I'm just really busy, but I'm going to try my best. I'm really trying to grow my YouTube channel. So if you can, please subscribe, like, and comment. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Again, my name is Lee. Thank you for clicking on my video. Thank you for spending time with me. And thank you for looking into my life and how I view things as a Gemini goddess. Everyone have a wonderful day.